Nikki Six, the bassist and co-founder of Motley Crue, has dropped some bombshell news that the band has officially finished tracking their first studio album with the legendary John Five on guitar. This news marks the end of a long wait for fans of the Los Angeles band, who have been eagerly anticipating a new record for years. Taking to Twitter on say, May 13th, Six announced that the record was 100% officially done and ready for mix, with the finishing touches polished off in a London studio alongside frontman Vince Neil. It's a momentous occasion for fans who have been waiting patiently for new music from the band, especially since their last studio album, Saints of Los Angeles, was released way back in 2008. But the wait is finally over, and with the band's world tour with Def Leppard about to kick off, Motley Crue fans around the world can look forward to experiencing the new material live. The tour picks up in Def Leppard's hometown of Sheffield on May 22nd at Bramall Lane and will then travel across mainland Europe before returning to the UK in July. This new album will be the first Motley Crue release without co-founder Mick Mars on guitar who announced his retirement from touring with the band last October. However, he was planning on remaining in situ when it came to the studio, with John Five joining as the band's touring guitarist. Unfortunately, a lawsuit ensued, and it looks like we're officially in a new era for the band. There are no further details as to the new Motley Crue album's title or track listing. But one tantalizing detail has emerged, Bob Rock returns as producer, having captured the crew sound on the 1989 smash hit album Dr. Feelgood, who better to deliver a 21st century hard rock blockbuster. As a longtime fan and new start guitar player, John Five's perspectives are instructive. He describes working with rock as one of the most incredible experiences ever. I'm thinking, we've got so much great technology today. But we got in that room and it was like being in a garage working on a song when you were in high school, he told Truck. It was incredible, and we documented a lot of it too. Maybe some of that heaviness John Five speaks of will be coming from Bob Rock and his approach to capturing guitar tone. His proclivity for multi-track guitars, layering parts using many different guitar amps, not only helped crew reach their commercial zenith on Dr. Feelgood but also helped Metallica, with the Black Album ushering in a new stadium-packing era for the band. With Motley Crue's long-awaited new album officially finished and ready for mix, fans are sure to be in for a treat. So hold on tight and get ready to rock as the Motley Crue and Def Leppard co-headlining juggernaut rolls on.